day to you my friends welcome to the channel thanks for clicking and oh boy what a strange one we have for you today cats the butthole cut what a world so this comes from a screen rant article that suggests that cats butthole cut is real a cat's movie visual effects artist confirms the existence of the butthole cut that gained viral attention and explains how it came to be. Just when you think this couldn't get any stranger, this comes along. So just in case you live under a rock, Cats is a movie that released a god awful trailer last year and was mercilessly mocked and derided for the visual effects abominations that still haunt many of our dreams of a night and that ended up losing 70 to 100 million dollars upon release last December. Now, given the fact director Tom Hooper was apparently working on the effects up until the day before release, I can imagine a lot of the allegations made in this article may hold some weight, right? So, it says, supposedly an earlier cut of the movie featured what appeared to be anuses on many of the cats that had to be painstakingly removed. The rumour has held the internet's attention to the point of a cat's fan edit that sought to re-add the buttholes into the film. God damn, I feel like I've already said the word butthole more than I ever want to in a given day. Speaking with the Daily Beast, a visual effects artist on the movie verified that an effort to erase the buttholes took place and was part of an overall miserable experience for the crew under the leadership of director Tom Hooper. The source confirmed that the buttholes were not oh god, I hate saying that word, were not ever an intentional design choice, saying it wasn't prominent but you saw it. And you were just like, what the hell is that? There's a bleep butthole in there. It wasn't in your face, but at the same time too, if you're looking you'll see it okay so <laughs> okay so this unnamed visual effects source says that buttholes were never an intentional design choice which is baffling given someone would have had to design and animate the anuses for the character models in the first place which implies someone made the bizarre choice to sign off on them i mean i know director tom hooper likes to keep his films realistic but this is next level son I mean, God, look at that pic. <laughs> My God, can you imagine if they kept these in? I mean, I wouldn't be able to watch the Bond movies ever again if I'd seen Dame Judi Dench's blind winker in this movie. Oh God. Okay, look, there is a serious side to this though because it seems like the director went full on power Nazi and made the crew's lives hell on this flick. Uh, apparently, the source went on to reveal how correcting the buttholes only added to what was already an impossible task, describing the working conditions as almost slavery, and recalled working 90 hour weeks for months. Some colleagues they recalled stayed in the office for two or three days at a time, sleeping under their desks. In all seriousness, if any of this is remotely true, that's pretty messed up. Like. Like, that's really despicable shit. Those dire conditions apparently paled in comparison to the team's treatment from Hooper, who often berated the crew over email and generally had little idea what went into an animated feature. He, reported demand, he reportedly demanded that some movie scenes be fully rendered before he ever saw the footage, which was an enormous waste of time for the crew who simply needed his approval on the unrendered movements of the characters. Wow, again, if that's true, that's nuts. I don't know much about visual effects or, or that part of the industry, other than a vague interest in like Corridor Crew's VFX Artist React series, but I do know from my month-long journey to making YouTube videos that waiting for videos to render is a goddamn nightmare. And if he was asking them to fully render scenes before he would watch them, and only want and like they only wanted his feedback and approval on on movements, then that to me smacks of a goddamn power trip. Because as a director, one of the most fundamental aspects of your job is to save time and money and have everyone work as efficiently as possible. This is not that. This ain't it, Hooper. He must be a smart man to be in the role he is, so it baffles me how he's happy to allow these guys to completely mismanage their time like this. I know they say it's his first animated feature, but he can't be that naive when it comes to visual effects, surely. 
And even so, these guys would have been shouting from the rooftops about how much of an inordinate waste of time this would be. And at the very least, he should be listening to the, his field experts here. They know what they're doing. Listen to their concerns, man. Hooper also reportedly demanded to see videos of actual cats performing the same movements, which was difficult to say the least because, as you know, cats don't dance. <laughs> This is taking the piss now. This is taking the piss now, man. It just sounds like this Hooper guy suffered a complete mental breakdown on the set and just ended up trolling everyone. I mean, this is Cloud Cuckoo Lamb, right? God. I, I mean, these poor guys, man. Especially now we know how it ended up. If I had had to work 90 days and sleep in my office for three nights a week, I'd be be I'd better be working on a, a Marvel movie or some sort of Pixar masterpiece to make the whole thing worthwhile. But how soul destroying to go through all this stress and graft when you know nobody's even going to watch it and it's just going to bomb. I bet all these poor artists and animators who went through all this torture absolutely knew the dumpster fire they had on their hands and ultimately it would all be for nothing. And I can't imagine how bitter and resentful they must have become. I can only hope they were fairly compensated for this or else I imagine this would be their equivalent to living through their Vietnam. Poor guys man. And Tom Hooper, well, he, he always seems to come across as a highly competent and polite guy. So I hope he's given a chance to respond to these rumours and put his side of the story out there. It just seems a little strange, but if it's true, he deserves to be called out on his BS. Because creating an environment where your crew feels like they have to sleep in their office in order to meet your totally unnecessary demands is straight up tyrannical. Anyway, what do you lot think? Is it is a re-edited version something morbidly curious to see. I think I would, just out, just out of like sheer fascination. Especially hopped up on shrooms, what an experience that would be. <laughs> if fans can get HBO and DC to release Snyder's cut of Justice League, scheduled for next year, I'm sure we can get the stink eye cut of cats released in the jiffy. Hashtag, release the butthole cut. Anyway, if you enjoyed the vid, leave a like and comment, subscribe for more content, and see you next time. Watch out for Marxists.